Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make an origami gift box. Now I first saw this on the craft label website, but it was when it was trim craft and it was early on last year. And I just thought it looked really nice. And But if you want to check those out, I'll link theirs in the description box below. It's really nice and they do it in rainbow colours. But I thought I want to give it a go and I'm actually going to make this as a Valentine's box. So I thought we've got that coming up in a few weeks. So I'm going to pull out the paper posies, which is the Dovecraft. So you will want a paper for this. Now I am using a heavier weight paper. Origami paper is obviously recommended because that's it's got all the folds and it's thin, so it can take that. However, this is 150 GSM and you can get away with it. So if you've got your paper posies or any papers, then that's great. You also want something that's single sided because not so much on this one because I've covered this, but on the lid, you're going to see the white on the reverse. It's really easy. The base is done exactly the same way as the lid. So I've already done that one here. Basically what you need is 16 pieces of any size square that you want. Like I said, I'm doing six by six because it's already done, but you could use 12 by 12, eight by eight or any other size. So if you have got a specific gift that you want to put in this, then you can just check the length of that and then make the box according to that gift. So if you're using six by six papers, it will be a five and a half yeah, so about five and a half. If I do point to points, five and three quarters. Yeah, so it just gives you an idea. Anyway, so grab your paper and I'm gonna show this one here and then you just do that 16 times, okay? And you can see all of these ones that I've got here. So this is the shape that we're gonna create. So first of all, whatever paper it is, you want your pattern facing down, so you've got the white side up, or basically whatever if you're using double-sided paper if you whatever print you want to be on the outside have it facing down because you can see that's what I've got there so on the diagonal you're going to fold from point to point so first of all right up here and I would say use a bone folder it's going to really help you if you don't have a bone folder you can use a ruler you can use a pen it's entirely up to you and then again on the other corner Okay, so I went across one side and then I went across the other. So you'll have four triangular segments. Then you want to, again, starting from one of the points, you're going to bring each point now into that middle section. So I'm going to bring that one up. And the key with origami is to make sure all your points join up, that your lines are nice and crisp and they're straight. And then you're going to bring up the next one and just make sure it sits nice and aligned with that one and you get your point down here nice and sharp and then just work your way around again I'm going to do that one I'm not going to speed any of this um, up because I want you to just be able to rewind and stop easily and then you're just going to do the last one there and you should have it all meet up get the odd little bit of white don't worry too much but try and get it so that it's all concealed like so okay then what you want to do is open up the top and the bottom. Also, I would recommend a non-directional paper for this. So if it's a floral print, that's great, because usually they, they're just in any orientation or it doesn't matter if it's upside down. And you can see things like this that I've used there, that doesn't matter. You're then gonna bring the bottom up and this point is gonna sit in the center of this line here. So you'll have the line, you've got the score line going down, or the fold line. So you're just gonna line that up to that point there and just fold. Then burnish it every time, like so. Then you're going to bring it around so it's now in this orientation and you're going to bring up this side here. What I like to do is put my thumb down on this kind of corner here to keep that down. You're going to pull this up and this side here needs to line up with this here. So you can see I'm bringing it around and then I'm folding it down Again, make sure you get a really nice point and it sits right next to it. So it's a bit of an odd fold. I'll just bring it up a bit so you can see what I've done there. So you're just bringing this outer side up so it runs next to this piece here. Okay. Then, so this is facing you, flip it over so that's now at the top and then fold this in half. And it should all line up really nicely. And again, just burnish all of that. 
now again you've got a bit of a funny fold which is why you don't really want to be going any heavier than 150 gsm because this can just about take it but you're now going to bring this side to run along with this one so it's similar to the fold you just done but you need to bring this up as well and lay that down so like i said it does feel a bit weird but trust me it's you know it is what you do and just again fold that all down so again if i just bring it up you can see you just bring it up so it runs you can't really see it there but you're basically making sure it lines up with that piece there and then it will just continue down and the point will be at the top of that square piece there okay and then you've got the two side these pieces here in this middle bit just open that up and you've got this kind of one of the corners basically and that's it that is what you want and then you need to repeat that seven more times or like I said 16 more times if you're doing the whole box I mean you might want to just do a nice little decorative tray for your desk you know that's really nice that would just mean you need the eight pieces okay so now what you want to do is I've got these little bits folded under but you'll have them like this now how they do it the official origami way I guess is this now goes in here and it locks in that piece just clips under there and it locks in like so okay and you'll just go around and do that with each one so this one again you would lock that in it's a little bit fiddly but you're just kind of pushing it in and can you see and it soon quickly starts to form that lid however I'm going to change this a bit now if you're doing the base I guess that's what I would do just go around link them all in and once you get to the last one just clip it in and then what I did with the base one is I then cut away all this bulk and I just punched a, a scallop circle there just to cover it because I found for the base it's quite kind of bouncy and they don't really talk about that in any of the videos that I watched but I found that it was maybe not so much if you're using origami paper but maybe because this is obviously thicker that I found that but I did cut away the bulk because you don't see it anyway okay I want to do the top of this slightly differently so what I'm going to do and I'm going to use glue because I just think I get I don't know I just I think because this is thicker card I get a better finish these pieces here I'm folding them all under okay and I'm just going to sit it on the top and I'm going to glue that onto the top of this okay but as I'm doing this I'm going to do it whilst I'm putting it on top of this so I know the lid is going to fit okay because you do want it to obviously just be that little bit bigger so I'm going to grab my let's use I'm going to use the quick grab glue because I just think it's going to be a bit easier for this now because I'm just sitting each one on top what I am also going to do is just kind of pop some glue you know inside all of these kind of loose bits so that everything can kind of stick down and then I might even just pop a bit of glue on the back of that one and just fold that one under there so okay and then I'm going to pop it pop one on there it doesn't matter at, the, at this minute and then I'm just going to actually first of all I'm just going to put the glue around here and then you can see where it's going to sit so I'm going to pop glue all on this bit here and then whilst it's on here I'm just going to lay that down you're just following the same shape as the base. Now I'm going to get the next one and then again I'm going to just add my glue over that same kind of area keeping that all in place it doesn't really matter which one it's following at this point and then sit that one over there and once I've lift, kind of got it in place I can just take it off and then I can apply some pressure there. I actually didn't put any glue on the side here. Okay so already now I'm confident that's all starting to sit nicely. So I'm just going to keep working my way around doing the same thing.
Okay, so I'm now down to the last one. So I'm just going to pop that back over there. And don't worry if you've got a like, gap and everything like I've got there because it's all going to get covered. And it just continues the same. You should have a little bit each time. See, I've got a little bit of the one below. So it will all, you know, just adds to the pattern. So this one now is going to go... Let's take the lid off for this one, actually. So it's going to go over and then under that one. So that needs to come out. Just, just follow your pattern. But there you can see now how cool does that look on top. I absolutely love this. So again, I'm going to lay it on there and then you'll be able to lock that in and just add your glue again. So what I might do is, yeah, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to pop my nozzle in here just to kind of initially tack it down. I can always then go back in with a bit more, t you know, glue if I need to. And do this one here. And just make sure you get a nice snug fit around the base and then I'm just going to add a bit more under there. I can take this off now and I'm going to show you how to add a couple of little finger pulls so you can pull the base off as well. And there you have a really nice piece of storage for your desk or a lovely gift box. It's just got such a nice handmade feel about it and it actually does remind me of some of the packagings and gifts I received when I lived in Asia because I'd, I'd received lots of beautiful things like this. Now, you have the hole there because of the way that I've constructed it, but I really like it anyway. But if you're gonna put a gift in there, then obviously put some tissue over it. However, I was going to use this tag, but I almost think it's a bit big. So I think what I'm gonna just do, is I quite like, no, I don't like. <laughs> I liked the idea, but I have, see that actually looks really pretty. It's having that flower in the middle. Okay, so I have ended up going for this. So it's just one of the decoupage little toppers from that pack. And I will eventually attach it onto here, but obviously I want to be able to write on it and I'm going to have it just there. And I think it looks really, really pretty. But I do just want to show you, I'm just going to pick that out for the minute. But if you want to make that easier, I'm just going to use a finch here. This is the one inch and I'm just going to, if I can get it in there, yeah, I'm just going to go up as far as it'll let me, make sure I've got it in the middle and just punch through all those layers so you get a little arch there and then do it on the opposite side there. So again, just go up as far as the punch will let me. It's quite, I mean, not everyone's going to be able to do this. You could always cut just a little triangle as well but now when I put that back on it's really easy to just hold the sides now and take that apart but there you have it I think it looks gorgeous I'm so pleased with this it's really neat and I have a lovely gift tag to finish it off I'll probably just end up gluing that on there I think but yeah there you have it so I hope you've enjoyed this one check out the trim craft one if you want to do like a nice rainbow um, effect as well because that's really nice and uh, yeah I look forward to seeing your versions over on our group thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon bye